What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the loop recorder functions on the Tractor Control S4. So the loop recorder functions are right here in the center of the mixer. And we have a few different buttons and a dry wet knob right here. So first the dry wet knob controls the dry wet knob in the software and you can see it moving right there. And then uh, right here we have the loop size button. So if we trigger this a few times, it'll scroll through the available sizes. So it's four, eight, 16, and 32. We have the undo button. So while you're recording a loop, once you stop it playing, you can undo it by pressing undo. And then of course you can start recording by pressing the record button. And you can play and stop the loop by pressing the play button right here. Now, before you start recording a loop, you have to set your source. And I dug really deep into this in the Tractor Pro 2 software course. So if you wanna dig super deep into loop recording, definitely check that out. This is just gonna be like a basic thing in terms of the functions. But you can set your source right here just by clicking this drop down. So we have main, Q, EXT, and AUX. So the main records the main audio for everything, anything that's coming out of the main. And then the Q records what's in your Q right here. So if you have one channel selected, it will record that. If you have two, three, four, it'll record all of them. EXT will record from the input effects send, and then AUX will record from the auxiliary channel. So if you have anything plugged into your AUX, it'll record from that. So I'm just gonna set it to main, and I have this track over here, and I'm just gonna start playing it. And the next thing you wanna do is take your dry wet, and I'm gonna put it all the way over to wet. And then I'm going to hit record. So now it's recorded a four bar loop. And because it's all the way to wet, we're only hearing the loop. If I turned it, I'd start hearing the track with the loop. So now we're hearing both at the same time. If you go all the way to dry, you only hear the track. Okay, but we wanna go just to the loop. If I want to stop it, I hit the play button and that activates the undo button. However, let's stop the track now because now that the sample isn't playing anymore, we're still hearing the track. So now if I wanna undo that, I just hit undo and now I can start fresh. So now let's do it again and this time let's save the loop into a remix slot. So I'm just gonna press play. I have it all the way to wet. I'm gonna hit record. So now it's just playing the loop and I'm going to press stop and now I want to save it into an empty remix slot. So I have a remix deck set up over here on deck B. So all I have to do is hit an empty remix slot button and there it is right there. It shows up right in the remix slot and I, if I hit play over here and I hit play here. Now we can hear our loop. So that's how you use the loop recorder with the Tractor Control S4 DJ controller. If you want to learn more, check out the next video.